Hi everybody, it's Adam Shively, the creator of the Meltdown Fat Loss Bootcamp and the founder of TransformationCoach.me. I'm fired up, as always, a lot of high energy coming here if you haven't noticed yet. Uh, we're, today we're going to talk about one of my key tools that I use with both my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and our group clients that this has produced a lot of success. It's produced a mindset shift for people. And as we talked about in previous videos about solidifying your new healthy lifestyle, there has to be a balance there where you feel like you can live a little and there has to be a correct mindset around it. So the, the cheat bank philosophy really has worked well for a lot of people. Normally people will just either try to never fall out of, out of line with their diet and then they just reprimand themselves and eventually totally fall off the wagon uh, because they do cheat. Or they have a set pattern of cheating, like I cheat on Sundays, I weigh in and I cheat on Sundays. I'm going to encourage you to think a little bit differently with this video. The cheat bank philosophy is just a little bit different, alright? So I'm going to show you an example first, and I'm going to talk about four key points, four key takeaways from this whole concept. So get your notepad ready, as always. So a cheat bank works, instead of saying I cheat every Sunday, I recommend a four week period where you say, all right, I'm going to look ahead and see where it makes sense to take a cheat meal. All right, so maybe cheat number one is a date night with your spouse. Take somebody out, have a nice time, have a nice little meal with not having to worry about what you're eating. Uh, cheat number two might be a child's birthday party. Might be your kids, might be someone else's, and you just want to cut loose a little bit. Cheat number three could be a work event. All right, you have to go and uh, mingle with the people at work and have a few drinks or have a nice meal together. And then cheat number four might be open. So this is a four cheat meal cheat bank. There are different recommendations that I give, but it's specific to each position that somebody's at in the transformation process. So I can't really say, well, you should all do four cheats in four weeks. Uh, that's a nice base. Four to six is usually a nice base to get results. Uh, but in this example, we're using a four cheat meal cheat bank. So we've mapped out three in advance. One is open for later discussion or use and you don't have to use it. That's the cool thing is like how empowering would that be when you allow yourself four cheats and you don't even take one? That's something that some of you guys can think about and gain some momentum from. All right. So with the cheat bank, again, this could have been eight, it could have been 12, it could have been one, it could have been zero to create a nice little momentum phase. But the key is we are mapping this out in advance. So you're thinking about this ahead of time, which is going to help you deal with some of those danger zones too, and we've talked about that before in some of these videos, and so it's, it gets you thinking along the, the right line. So the four key takeaways, number one, I just said it, is you're going to be planning in advance. You're actually thinking about your cheats in advance instead of that crash and burn moment where you're like, oh, I've been trying to be good, but now I'm at a work thing, and I'm going to crash and burn, and then that turns into a whole weekend a lot of times. But when you plan in advance, you're mentally ready for it. Like, okay, I'm on the plan. This is part of my plan. I like to say that a lot. You know, as long as you have a plan, you are on plan. Don't beat yourself up. This is part of the plan. Number two, you're going to be accountable to your bank. You have to have that mental conversation where, I mean, if, for this to work, you have to have that mental conversation where, like, okay, I can take this extra cheat now. But where am I going to re-strategize and take out one of the other cheats? You know, I, I, I could take a cheat now if somebody brought in pizza to work. But then I don't get to take my wife out for our nice dinner. you got to weigh that out. And that mental conversation is going to be spurred on by this whole philosophy. All right, so that's number two. Being accountable to the cheat bank. Number three, we're going to minimize the bad cheats. When you plan in advance, you make them count. It's not... You know, I'm not sitting in my car eating a bucket of KFC, drowning my sorrows. All right? You are thinking about these things in advance, planning them out, having some structure around it, always a good thing, and we're minimizing the bad cheats. Now, will these still happen every once in a while? Yeah. But we're going to learn to deal with that. And we've got other coaching videos about that topic, uh, so I'm not going to dig too deep there. But this will help. This will help. That's the key. Number four, huge one. You have... Control. You have control. Such a different mindset between you know going to a work function 
crash and burn. I'm trying to be good, but whoops, I slipped. So I'm gonna cheat the whole weekend. And then that next Monday, you lose a lot of momentum. Maybe you totally crash and burn with your overall program. Versus, I mapped this out, I owned it. I said, I'm gonna take a cheat here. I know exactly what I'm gonna do on the back end because I prepared in advance. So that also means we can prepare for what happens after the cheat. How am I gonna be accountable to my fitness program or my nutrition program on the other side of that cheat? When you plan in advance, You've got all those things laid out ahead of time. So I have control. What a mindset shift. When you own the situation, you own the cheat, it's on plan because it's a part of your plan. All right. If you guys like this, you'll love my free podcast. Check it out. You can search on iTunes or SoundCloud, uh, transformationcoach.me. You can search for the, the episode. It's called The One About Cheating on Your Nutrition Plan. I go for about 25 minutes on this topic. I dive a lot deeper into it and I think you'll love it. So search on that. Check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash transformationcoach.me. Give me some likes, some shares, give me a shout out. I appreciate your energy. I appreciate all the feedback you've been giving me. Uh, I'm grateful for you guys and I'm just honored to be able to deliver some momentum to you guys every single week. So I'm going to keep putting these out. You guys keep on giving me feedback and together we're going to help you rehabilitate that lifestyle. We'll see you on the next video.